Hey everyone, so I'd first like to say I'm really sorry that I haven't done a video just recently and my excuse is I've had really bad hay fever and my eyes have just been incredibly itchy and I haven't really wanted to wear anything let alone wearing a lot of makeup to do a tutorial and um, I'm really sorry about that and I'm going to get back onto track straight away um, but yeah so on to this look this is an everyday fresh look you can also um, wear it out in the evening it's pretty much just accentuating your natural beauty and making you look really fresh eyed and awake it is perfect for the spring or the summer which is now coming up it's really lightweight I haven't really applied anything that heavy I can't really feel like I'm wearing any makeup um, at all and the best thing is I have used all drugstore products for you so I've kept all the prices quite low the only thing I have used which are high end are my brushes Sigma brushes I use mostly they aren't the highest of ends and they are pretty cheap for the quality that they are but again they're not a drugstore product a only drugstore brush that I used was actually the um, Real Technique detail brush which were available in drugstores the only reason why I haven't used drugstore brushes is because I personally don't use them that is pretty much the only one I use I use the Real Technique face kit I have them brushes and I use them for different things um, than what I use today and I just didn't see the point in going out and buying drugstore brushes that I don't use so it's sort of me falsely saying oh I use this brush and I use that brush and I wanted to be as honest with you guys as possible so that is the reason why that the brushes aren't drugstore everything else I try to keep drugstore and this is the face that I managed to create with it. I really hope that you enjoy this look. Um, it's really wearable, really pretty. I plan on wearing this every day for the foreseeable future. So yeah, if you want to see how I do this look, then keep watching. Okay, so the first product I'm going to go in with for this look is going to be my Sleek Storm palette, which looks like this, all these colours. Um, the actual shade I'm going to use first is this light brown here. I'm just going to take that on a Sigma E25 brush, knock off any excess and then just blend that into my outer corner and into my crease. Now I'm not going to add any more product to this brush, I'm just going to blend that line out. So it's just going to gradually peel her out into the brow bone. Next what I'm going to do is go in with this lighter shade here. So actually this is the one we just used and we're now going in with this one. It's like a shimmery champagne colour. I'm going to take that on a 252 brush by MAC. This has got a lot of shin for it, so I'm just going to knock off any of that. It's just going to get rid of any of the larger chunks that might fall down onto our cheeks. I'm just going to pat that onto my eyelid. And this is going to be the brightening colour that makes us look more youthful and awake. Get it in that inner corner. Next we're going to go in with a darker shade to deepen our... Um, lash line and our crease and also go underneath to give our eye a bit more definition so the shade I'm going in with is this one right here it's at the bottom of the palette this these are the two shades that we just used and we're now going in with this one I'm going to take that on a MAC pencil brush which is a 210 and just and just apply that colour right at our lash line I'm also going to take that underneath my eye as well. And I'm just going to take that colour and connect it up with the top. This is just going to go along the edge of the crease colour. Ever so slightly. To 
blend out that harsh line we're just going to go back in all of that Sigma E25 that I used for the lighter brown and just blend that in next I'm going to go in with a short shader brush this is the E20 from Sigma I'm going to go back in with that champagne colour knock off any excess and then just apply that along the bottom and join it to that brown shade eyeliner product I'm using today is the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen it's in the shade Blackest Black I'm just going to draw along my upper eyelashes follow my lower lash line up to create the wing and then just join the colour up. Now I'm not going to go in too far with that eyeliner just because we want our eyes to look more awake and more open and if we put eyeliner all the way up it would make it look a bit more closed. So now all I'm going to do is get back in with my Sleek Storm palette and go in with the black in the palette which is just here and I'm going to take that on my 266 MAC brush which is an angled brush and I'm just going to apply that black along where I've just put that eyeliner and it's just going to soften it a bit, it's also going to fill in any gaps that you may have missed and it's just going to neaten the whole look up. I'm also going to take a bit of the black eyeshadow on this brush and just go underneath just smushing it into my eyelashes like so so now all that's left to do is to colour eyelashes and mascara I'm using my Tweezerman eyelash colours because you can actually get these at the drugstore the mascara I'm using today is Voluminous by L'Oreal um, and it's just the original one I guess with the curved brush I'm just going to apply a couple of coats onto my top and onto my bottom eyelashes. So for my face, I've actually applied all my foundation already and I used the Revlon Colour Stay Combination Oily Skin in the shade 150 Buff. I just applied that all over my skin. Um, for my concealer, I used the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. Um, I also used the Sleek Conceal and Correct Palette for underneath my eyes and I've also applied um, a cream blush product already as well and that's just the dream touch blush in the shade 06 and it's just giving me like a nice lateral look I haven't actually applied any powder yet my skin is looking not too bad at the moment but because I have an oily t-zone I'm just going to apply a bit onto my t-zone so the product I'm using is the Rimmel Stay Matte this is the transparent shade and I'm just going to take that on a F20 Sigma brush get a little bit on and just lightly dust it onto my nose, onto my chin and onto my forehead. This will just eliminate any oil and will hopefully make you stay matte all day. So we can touch up our blush a little bit and make it last a bit longer by using a powder brush over the top. I'm going to go in with a sleek blush and this is in the shade Rose Gold. I'm going to take that on my 183 Angled Brush by MAC and just apply it onto the upper of my cheeks. This product's got a nice sheen to it so it does make your skin quite glowy and luminous um, and again it makes you look quite wide awake and makes your skin look very pretty. So for my lips I'm actually going to go in with two products. The first one is by... The first one is by Maybelline, it's a colour sensation in Rosewood Pearl and it's quite a shimmery brownie natural colour. So that's my basic colour, you can leave it at that. But I'm actually going to go in with a Revlon Colour Burst Lip Butter in the shade Cotton Candy which is this really pretty sort of shimmery pink. It's just going to add a nice glow to our lips. 
as if we were wearing a gloss. Gives it a nice, gives it a nice sheen and there's also some sparkle to it as well. So that is the look complete. Again, I'm really sorry that I haven't uploaded a video in quite a long time. I hope you all enjoyed this look and I will talk to you all very soon and thank you for watching.